Hey everyone, it's me Alex and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own DIY digital menu board using any TV. All you need is a USB flash drive and of course a computer to get the files on the USB flash drive. And you'll also need a TV that has a USB port. This is helpful because you can use any TV. It does not have to be like a digital signage display. It can be any TV that you can find in the store. Although there are going to be, there's some things that consumer TVs can't do. For example, like you can have a timer, have it on at this time or the other, another time. You'll have to turn it off and on and select your file. And digital signage screens have the option to just play that file in a loop. But if you're looking for a cost effective option, I recommend doing this with any TV. Let's just say you're a small business or a small pizza shop and you just want to have your pizza a menu up on the display but you don't want to waste like thousands of dollars using a digital signage display so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing is you want to check before. so the first thing you want to do before we get started take a look at your TV and make sure it has a USB port if it does we are good to move on so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my computer and show you what okay so here's my computer setup something you can you can note is you can create it through any program you can create via google slides via power microsoft powerpoint and even canva i want to go ahead and use canva because it's easier because i like the there's more formats but of course it doesn't mean you, don't, you cannot use the other formats something you want to know though is the resolution of your tv if it's a 720 display that's going to be different if it's a 1080 display like this one and the one over there is a 4k but i'm just going to make it 1080 you want to, if it's the same resolution as your monitor or other computer you can check because you can see it says 1920 times 1080 sorry so then you can do that or just go ahead and look up here if you're going to do vertical it's going to be different so i'm just going to look up menu but as you can see it's showing you other menus so we want to do tv menu for as you can see for example like this one if it's free and I can do it. So you can see we have some right here. I'm gonna go ahead and create like this one. Of course, Canva has more options. If you're gonna use Google Slides or PowerPoint, you can, you can be creative with your own options. So I'm just gonna click on Customize. And then as you can see, there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this over. As you can see, there's other menus. You can add those too. So as you can see, I'm just gonna keep this. I'm just put Alex's. Of course, this is fully customizable. You can edit the pictures, you can move them around. Let's say I don't want this picture, you can move that. And oops, I think I moved it too over. There we go. And then of course you just edit your menu here. And let's just say perfect. Let's just say this menu is mine already. You can preview it by clicking like full screen, make sure this is how it's gonna look like. And then now comes the part to plug in your USB flash drive. But you want to make sure that it's on JPEG format. Let me click on download to show you. It needs to be not PNG, JPEG. Because some TVs are very picky with the format. PNG, some TVs are not going to read it. So I highly recommend you download it as a JPEG, even if you're using Google Slides. If you're using Google Slides, it does say as an option to download. Let me just go ahead and show you real quick. So let's just say this is our menu, boring. <laughs> so if you're using Google Slides, you click on File, and you want to click on Download if it's when it's done when it's downloading. So let's just say this is our Google Slides menu, perfect, like this. You'll click on File, Download. And you want to click on JPEG. So if you want to click this, and it'll automatically download that, that one slide. So let's say if you have like three slides, you have to manually download each slide. It's just going to download one. But I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to go ahead and use my Google Canva one. So let's say perfect. This is the menu. I'm going to go ahead and add more just to show you other features if your TV has them. Or if your TV is com capable with doing that. So I'm just going to add this one. And let's just save this one. Let's say I like this. As you can see, there's blue uh, colors missing in the back, so it's not going to be perfect. So, so we could show you. Let's just add like this one. I'll go ahead and remove this one. So perfect. Let's just say you have one. Now you want to get your USB drive. Let me show you right here when I plug it in real quick. So as you can see, I have a USB hub or USB-C hub. If you just have it connected to your computer, it'll be the same. But I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right here, and it's going to go ahead and start flashing if your light has one. So now I get you view to the, my monitor again. As you can see here is our flash drive. There's nothing here. So now you want to go back to Canva and download it. So if you have more than one and if your TV, TV is capable, I'm going to show you how. You don't want to download it as a zip. So we're going to go download JPEG and then we're going to click on one picture at a time. It probably does work, but I'm just going to do one at a time. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and download it on my computer. As you can see, there's one. And now the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and download it again, JPEG. And then that was the first one. So now the second one, we're going to click on download. So as you can see, it's going to say download complete on the top. And then we can minimize Canva. And then we want to drag it over. So as you can see, here's this one. We're going to drag this menu, this photo to our menu file or folder. As you can see, now it's in there. And then we can drag the other one over. 
And there's both. If you have more videos, you can do that too, but that's it for this one. So I'm gonna click on eject to make sure you eject your USB flash drives to make sure all the data is still on them. It's gone. So now just pull it out from your computer and now let's go back to our TV. So on the back of your TV, again, this is a normal home TV, so this is not a digital signage screen either. It's just a normal one. You wanna locate your USB connection. This is this connector, this is a keyboard. So as you can see, there's our USB connection. So once you find it, if yours has like a cover like mine, you could open it and just plug it in. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug it in like so. There we go, we're connected. Now let me go ahead and turn on the TV and show you what to do next. So after you've connected, you wanna grab your TV remote. We're gonna turn it on. Go ahead and turn on. And then you wanna click on source. Some TVs also say source and USB. And then this one's gonna say USB right there. So you can see it says USB disk. You wanna click on that. It's gonna go ahead and load all your files on the USB flash drive. And then here are our menus. So these are the first picture. So if you just had one picture, you would just click it and it's not gonna be on there. You have to zoom in probably. Oh, it was right there, sorry. On Samsung TVs, I guess you know, I wanna get out of here. You wanna click on screen fit. So as you can see, this is why it's important to choose the resolutions for the, the correct resolution for your TV, because you can see mine gets kind of cut off here, because this is a 4K TV. So as you can see, it's going to get a little different. So make sure you check the resolution of your display to get the perfect fit. For example, this is for a 1080p display, so that's why it gets a little cut off. And this is a 75-inch TV. So perfect. If you just had with this menu, it's already there. You would just keep it here. So let's say like your like your business is open now. So then when you're done, since it's not like a commercial TV, you would just turn it off. And then it's not gonna save there though. So let's say it's the next day in the morning, you come back, turn it on. So you, you have to click, see it switched back to the source. So if you're not using the source, it's just gonna say no signal. We're gonna click on source. We're gonna go back to USB, select our menu. And there we go, it's gonna show up our menu again. So if you have more than one and your TV's capable, for example, like this one, as you can see it says play, you can do that. So if we click on play, it's gonna swap between the pictures. So as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and play the next one in a few minutes. There we go, so let's say this was like our, although if you have more than one TV, you can have one TV playing this menu, and then you would have another TV playing this. So let's just say that you can use this too, as you can see, it's playing that as well. You can switch menus, and if there's a timer, I don't know if there's a timer option, there should, options, and then you can change, yeah, there we go, slideshow speed, so let's just say you want it slow, or fast, how fast it moved right now. I'll just click on normal. And then slideshow effect, if you want it to none, it can spin. So let's just choose like random, let's just see that. And then it's background music only works if you have music files on your TV. I don't know if you want that for your TV <laughs> in a business because you, you would hear the music. So let's just leave the remote. As you can see, I'm not gonna touch it. It's gonna move by itself if you choose to do the slideshow option. There you go. So as you can see, it moves. And it doesn't have to be other pictures. It can actually play videos. Just make sure it's an MP4 file. Because some TVs are, as you can see, it can move. Or again, it does just say you just have that one menu. It'll just be there. And that bottom option will go away by itself without touching the remote. As you can see, I'm not touching. And there it goes. It goes away. So that's pretty much it. That's a crowd to create your own DIY digital menu board using a USB flash drive that is usually compatible with all TV brands. If you have any questions or need assistance for on how to do this with the specific TV brand, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.